Welcome and thank you for joining Oil & Gas 360. We're here at Intercom's London Oil & Gas Conference with Chairman and CEO of Energy 21, John Schiller. Thanks for joining us, John. Energy 21 is the third largest oil producer on the shelf of the Gulf of Mexico. For viewers new to the Energy 21 story, what's the company's strategy for growth? Uh, we're focused mainly on two things. We acquire big mature oil fields, and once we have those oil fields, we want to take the recovery factor from 45 to 60, 65 to 70. So you see that our big theme is the next 5%, always trying to get more out of the ground. Good. And in your recent intercom presentation this morning, you noted you recently drilled several additional horizontal wells and brought those online to add significant production to, to the company. Talk to us about these wells and your success with the horizontal drilling applications in the Gulf of Mexico. Well, clearly that's a big part of getting the next 5% out. The, the main, if I was make it real quick and easy, the difference between vertical wells and horizontal wells in the Gulf of Mexico is all about the amount of pressure drawdown. So these wells are having less than 10 pounds pressure drop. They're resulting in much more efficient drainage of the reservoir. Your water doesn't cone and put all those things together and allows you to get that incremental oil recovery that we're looking for. Are you one of the only companies drilling horizontally in the Gulf of Mexico? Now, I wouldn't say only. We're probably doing it more and, and out front about it than some of the others. I know some of the larger independents that we're partners with have drilled a couple. Uh, I suspect you'll see guys like Chevron do it or start doing it if they're not. Uh, you remember, we drilled a lot of horizontal wells back in the late 90s in the Gulf of Mexico. I actually pioneered a lot of the technology in use around the world today. Uh, and then oil went to $10 a barrel and everybody went away from it. So. So you added approximately 15 million barrels of oil equivalent approved reserves um, as a result of the Vermilion and Bayou Carlin acquisitions. Uh, what made these properties so attractive to you guys? Well, two different things. The, the Bayou Carlin was a discovery we had with Matt Rand back in 2007. They were the operator. We felt there was additional drilling to be done there. We drilled two wells that have made 60 Bs and two million barrels of oil. So we, we were willing, they needed uh, money to get to the close on their deal with FCX, and we felt like it was a good place for us to have some upside. You probably know it's a gas reservoir. We don't buy a lot of gas. Uh, so it kind of gives you some sense of how much upside we think is there. And then with Round Exxon, that was all part of our joint venture with them where we're drilling subsalt, and we think there's a lot of upside there. It's a thousand barrel day platform we bought, and it'll also be the focus point of our production as we make discoveries on the south side of the dome. So something new also that you announced back in March was an agreement with Apache to explore uh, the oil and gas sands associated with, with salt dome structures. Talk to us a little bit about this. Well, I think the key thing to understand is what wide azimuth seismic is doing. Wide azimuth in the, in the deep water has been there five, six, seven years. Uh, we had a lot of salt. You could justify the cost. What we're realizing now is what I call the $100 barrel economics. You know, you can spend a lot of money when only two million bar barrels will get you back 200 men. So with Apache, we're doing a 150 million uh, wide asthma seismic shoot through the main pass area. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to shoot some incremental piece over our main pass 61 73 fields. We're paying 25% with Apache, and we'll have 25% in three prospects, first of which is called a Heron, is drilling today below 9,000. And the goal of all that is to see below the salt, because I truly believe there's some large oil fields left to be found on the shelf, but they've been hidden by the salt for all these years. Um, you recently implemented a dividend program. Can you, t can you talk to us about that? Sure. It's, you know, it, it's about generating cash and, and giving it back to the shareholders. So we announced both a $250 million stock buyback plan and then increased our dividend 70-something percent to $0.48 cents a year, which is just shy of 2%. So a lot of operational catalysts going on at Energy 21. What are some uh, things that really investors should, should, should look for as you round out the fiscal year and then into 2014? Yeah, I, mean, I think the top three things are the strength of the horizontal programs. We're continuing to deliver one well after another now at the 1,000 to 1,500 to 2,000 barrel day range. Uh, we've, we've got the stuff from Bayou Carlin and the offset expiration there that will come to fruition very quickly. And then the ultra deep, which is always out there and always getting better as we've moved onshore. We're realizing there's a lot of sand down there, a lot of big structures that never got drilled. And I think that's a play that's going to continue to develop over time. Well, thanks for joining us, John. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us.